For this, he most embodied the trait of agreeableness. Since campaigning, the threat of succession was imminent, and running on an anti-slavery party platform did not help his case with the southern states. On March 4, 1861, Lincoln was inaugurated the 16th president of the United States. This is his story. Mr. President, there are internal reports that an assassination attempt was made. I'm going to take off a caution on the next one in the back way to reach the White House. But Lincoln was, <laughs> but Lincoln was hes hesitant, having, <laughs> having just been the president. Having just been made the president of what he considered to be a grand republic, he saw it only fair to stay and greet his visitors. He tried to assure the South that unity was his goal and that this could be achieved through peaceful means. We are not enemies, but friends. We must not be enemies. Through, through passion we may estrange. It must not break bonds of our affection. Lincoln was practically smuggled into the White House after his inauguration. As there were fears of passerby would try to be slick, upon arrival, Lincoln opened a letter, a letter someone had left on his desk. It was a death threat. It was Lincoln's own naivety that led to his demise. As he was persistent, the White House to have an open door policy. He dedicated hours every day to just listening to the people's concerns. Mr. Lincoln, I came here today to express my grievance with this war. My first son, Jacob Whitfield, had died at the Battle of Antietam. <laughs> I imagine it was a bloody way to go. But I got nothing back from him. Not a body, not a uniform, not a dog tag, not, not a goddamn thing. My second son will be advanced by the end of the month, and I dreaded his plan to join the Union Army. Firstly, thank you for your son's service, Mr. Whitfield. He has made the ultimate sacrifice. I'll make sure that make sure that he has not perished in shallow ground, that his death was not in vain, and that, his, and that this bloody cause's war end. You need not to worry about your son. I anticipate the world's conclusion in the coming weeks. Thank you for visiting. Come here, Tammy. <laughs> Why do you think they put me, my face on the Mount Rushmore? 